Hello and welcome to another episode of Motors for the... Seriously? What are you doing? I can't hold tea and... Put it down then! The floor's cold. Hello and welcome to another episode of Motors for the Masses and we're back on the Honda 400 for today. So what have we got or what are we doing? Well, we are degreasing, cleaning up and painting the engine doing the same with the forks and the same with the wheels. So we have our barbecue style trade satin black paint. We have our gunk ultra degreaser, came out of a massive pot, but it's in there now. And we've got our blue roll and we've got a couple of things to reveal. Oh yeah, and some nylon and uh, non-nylon yeah, brushes. Brass and steel in there too. So we've gone for another stand. Now this was the stand that was on it before and it was just too short so the bike was really leaning over so we've got the one off a scrambler it's slightly taller it's 30 centimeters um, i've measured to see where it needs to lean and where it needs to go so we're going to put that one on when the bike goes back together and see how it turns out and we've got the parts back that have been painted so roll the intro and we'll have a look Well, first things first, we've been to pick up the tank, the side panels and the mudguard for the Honda. So let's have a quick look. Are you ready for this? Well, first of all, I'd just like to point out that it's not the colour I thought it was going to be. So I'll show you after when I've revealed it, what the colour was supposed to be like. But for now, here it is, are you ready? Now, bearing in mind, it's the front mudguard, the side panels, and the tank that's just, in this Just color. before we do, oh, yes. we'd like to point out that it's not the painter's fault. Oh, absolutely not. No, it's not the painter's fault at all. The reason why, I was going to go into that afterwards, but the yeah. reason why is that the formula was wrong from Capchi. Capchi is the um, manufacturer of this color paint. Um, the formula was made up wrong. And again, this is not the paint mixer's fault because they followed the formula they were given. It's the manufacturer that have put the wrong formula in the paint code because they did a test and it came out exactly the same following their formula. So yes, it wasn't the sprayer's fault. The sprayer's actually done a really good job. Really, really happy with how he sprayed it. Are you ready? Are you ready? See, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, oh, I can't stop. <laughs> Ta-da! Look at that. Now, when I first picked this up, I thought it was gold, but apparently it is burnt orange, because I asked for burnt orange, and in the sun, you can really see the orange come out. It's pearl, it's got some dark tint in it. That's lovely. So we've got the tank, we've got the mud guard, and we've got the side panels. So yes, they're all done, ready to be put on the back on the bike, and have the number plate oval made as well. Lovely come out really well, really good job, really pleased. It's actually got a like a brown orange tinge to it, so it's got um, pearl in it. It's actually supposed to be burnt metallic orange with a pearl it's in it. It's almost the colour of a new two pence, isn't it? Yes, yeah, you could say that, yeah. And I'm really happy, it's actually come out really, really well. I love the paint job, I love the finish, it's really been sprayed well. Now coming up, I'll show you a clip of this versus the colour we were going to go. Here it comes. So you can see it was supposed to be a lot darker orange, but we're actually really, really pleased with this. Mm. Really, really pleased. And it does look pretty good with the grey parts as well. Oh, absolutely. Fleck, the fleck in that grey. Is exactly the same as the fleck in this. Yeah, yes. so that's all good. But you're not seeing that. So no, you're going to see it when it all goes back together, which is going to be in our next episode. We're going to be rebuilding the bike. Hopefully, fingers crossed. We are. <laughs> we're doing it. <laughs> Positivity. Absolutely. Right, okay, so let's crack on with today's task. So the first thing we're going to do is the forks. Now, so we're going to get these etch primed and they can be drying whilst we're doing the rest. So we're just going to liberally spray some blue roll with gunk and then just wipe over them because there's not a great deal of rubbing required. So making sure you get in all the crevices, which means all around here and in little bits like this. I need a brush for that. So, uh, yeah. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Like some kind of sand. 
Tasty. So, when it comes to uh, cleaning these up, just a bit of degreaser. And you can either use the cloth. We're quite lucky because these are quite smooth. There's no real angles on them. And the ones that do have angles, the bits that do have angles, you can just use the nylon brush and get in there with it and give it a good clean out. Now we're going to leave these bolts on and leave this bolted together because if we take it off and paint it, they might not seat properly. So then it doesn't matter if it's not painted on the inside. And excuse me, I'm a bit gunky this morning. <laughs> you see what I did there? Yeah, very good. <laughs> okay, and then once this has been done, all you do is just clean it off. Hello. Hello, we have faults. Oh my god. Oh, hang on a I'll just do that then. There we go. Just spray it with a fine mist of water. And. <laughs> Brilliant. Wipe it off. Then once it's dry, completely dry, we shall leave it out in the sun to dry completely, we can then spray it with the etch primer. Now, before you etch prime these, of course, we don't want paint getting in there. So we have to mask round, and then what we'll do is put a little lip of masking tape round here, because you won't see this bit anyway, because the gator will be on there, so you haven't got to worry about that. So we'll put a bit of masking tape round there and mask this off with a piece of paper, so no paint or overspray can get on these, because that's the last thing you want, because these have to slide nicely up and down. Not all the way, of course, but you know what I mean. So the first thing to do is to plug up the holes. Now, the spark plugs are still in there at the moment, so I've just gone around them with a bit of blue roll. Can't be a bit of blue roll. And kept them nice and clean, and plugged up the holes for the carburetor and the exhaust inlet, outlet. outlet, that's what I said, in a different kind of opposite way. So, we are using our Gunk Ultra. Now this, I will put a description and link for in the description <laughs> below. <laughs> you know what I mean. Um, so you can see how much it is, it's not that expensive. So, first of all, you just spray this on and let it soak in for a little while. And this can go everywhere because it's all going to be cleaned. And then you just take your brush, like he's demonstrating here, and clean it. It's that simple. So once the degreaser is on, now I'm using the, uh, is that the copper one? I think brass. Isn't it? Brass, sorry. Brass um, wire brush. Simply because a lot of this paint is flaking off. So I want to get that flake off. I don't want to leave flaky paint. And then spray it and have it all come off again. So this is the best way to do it. Get it all off. Like so. So the engine is now out in the sun to dry, being protected by the cat, and uh, then we'll come to paint that later. So we're trying to find places to put this so we can spray it properly. And Martin says, just hold it and then you can rotate it and turn it. I liked the idea of keeping it straight and spraying it, but we're gonna go with his idea because he's like that. So, we're going to hold it, spray it with X primer and give it a layer. 
And then when that's done... Make sure can, you shake your paint. Wait for it to dry. Yeah. It shouldn't take long to dry. Etch primer should be dry in about 20 to 30 minutes. Now you can get some shop-bought stuff that um, takes about 24 hours to cure, but this stuff is Upol and it's pretty good. So we don't need to wait that long. Okay, so we're going to use the edge of the bin to put it in and dry. Let's show you. So all you do is just stick it in the slot, like so. Now we're going to replace these bolts anyway, so it doesn't matter if you touch those. See, it feels dry already. Yes, pretty much there. It's just the curing time on that, I guess. Oh yeah. So we should just leave that to dry and then we will crack on with the wheels. Let's just bung some extra primer on this bit first away. Oh yes, and that is the brake holder bit. Um, Before we do the wheels, we're going to give this a quick clean up and wax match primer on this also because we're going to paint that black. So now it comes to the wheels and I've taken the centerpiece out of the wheel and you probably don't need to but I'm going to mask up the um, bearing because I don't want to get overspray on the bearing. Again, it probably doesn't make any difference but I just don't want to. And then we'll just give that a scrape in, mask around here yeah. and then spray these black. Again, if this is not perfect, it doesn't matter. Afterwards we can go around and clean that up because it's a lip there. It doesn't look like it but there's a lip sharp edge. edge there. Yeah, sharp edge. So we can mask that off, give that a clean and then we can just go around and clean that up before we polish this rim. And we all know how Malcolm likes to polish a rim, don't you? Actually, I do quite enjoy polishing <laughs> a wheel rim. Oh, a wheel, oh, okay. <laughs> <There we go. laughs> and on this one, uh, again, mask off inside here because you don't want spray on the bit where the shoes connect to. And I'm going to mask off around here because I don't want to spray on that. But this can be sprayed black because that can be seen. So again, same situation, mask off around here. Clean these up, give them a slight going over, get rid of the flaky paint because it is flaking. And then we'll give that a go as well. Now this is dry, we're going to give it a coat of the satin black. Okay, so now that's sprayed on, we'll let that dry, and then once it's dry, we'll give it another coat. Right, I have given this brake drum its first coat of satin black and it's actually come out really nicely. So I shall let that dry, which does not take very long at all, and then give it another coat. Also done the brake lever, connector bit thingy, and that's drying nicely. Now, Malcolm's having a bit of trouble with his wheel. I thankfully picked up the right wheel because I sanded mine off with the electric sander and it's come up quite nicely, ready to be masked off. But Malcolm 
is just flicking this with a screwdriver and it's all coming off. Look at that one. So whoever painted this wheel did not prep it whatsoever. No. Just goes to show how important X primer or at least A primer is. Because this had nothing. When you're painting alloy, it's always good to use an X primer. I had to scrape on my wheel with uh, the screwdriver and nothing came off. No, it's exactly the same scrapage and nothing happened. So this wheel is pretty damn poor. So whilst he's doing that, I shall mask up this wheel over here. Whilst I've cleaned up all the dust. Did you shut up over there? Try and talk. So of course, before painting this, I have to get off all the grease, grime and crap. Now, I don't actually have any pre-paint degreaser. So we're gonna use the gunk, which will possibly leave a residue. So then we're gonna clean that off with water. So first of all, just gonna wipe off all the dust and horrible stuff that was left by the grinding, grinding, sanding. Yeah. Yeah, I know that. Now I will put that in the sun and let it dry whilst he's still scraping the other wheel. So now it's time to finish prepping the engine and all we're going to do on these uh, alloy parts is just use some P240 um, emery cloth or sandpaper. I'm just going to rough up the edges so the etch prime will stick to it nicely. Yes. Malcolm is still scraping the wheel. <laughs> We're now going to give the satin black parts their second coat. And uh, then we're going to <laughs> paint the wheel. Uh, no, uh, paint the wheel? Got me up. Engine, 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 engine. I'm trying to break from that for a minute. No. Can you hold this? I've literally got this one little bit around the edge of this room to do and I'm done. All right, I'll wait. Yeah. We'll wait, shall we? Um, yay! All that. <laughs> right, so let's move our square. I'm going to try and make this as even as possible. Right, let's go. shiny at the moment but it won't do. There you go look, I've just taken the spark plugs out in order to mask up the tops there and in that order they've come out you can see because we had running issues didn't we that one doesn't look too bad that one doesn't look too bad that one doesn't look like it's done anything and that one looks super rich so definitely need to do some carb setup and balancing and whatnot so there you go all good fun so masking up the wheel is not a two second job. Now, we've decided not to go to the edge here like they have on here. We're gonna to go to this edge and spray all this black all the way around here and just leave this rim polished. Um, masking up, I'm using small pieces of masking tape, like so, and I'm just going around the edge. Now, if I don't get exactly the right 
layout, it doesn't matter because we can go around afterwards and just scrape off the excess little bits on this edge here. So as long as it's mostly masked off, then we'll mask off the tyre, both sides of course, and then spray it. So first of all, we're just going to put some etch primer on these wheels and then let them dry. Okay, now let's go. Okay, now we're going to spray the engine with an etch primer. Now, we've left all the bolts in the engine, and the reason for that is I bought a new stainless bolt kit. So, all the bolts that we need to replace on the bike. Bought that on eBay for £40, I think it was. So, that's all the bolts we need to replace. So, we can leave those ones in and then whack them out and change them once it's dry. So here it is currently etched. Now we don't have to worry about the sprocket because we've got a new one of those going in there. Now we've taken the oil filler checker cap out because I want to keep that nice and shiny alloy. And that is ready to be sprayed very soon. Wait for that to dry, which doesn't take long. Now what did you say Malcolm about the oil? Oh the oil filter thing because it's resting on it, we're we'll gonna paint it. Later. Afterwards, yeah. It's no big here, it's black, it's easy on. Okay. So when it's painted, it should look like this. Well, actually, no, it look like an engine, but this sort of finish. It won't look like this. If it looks like this, then something's seriously weird and slightly wrong and uh, quite impressive, to be honest. It's not a spray, it's magic. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> Missed a bit. Probably. In there, look. We're now about to give it its first coat of black satin. Um, Malcolm's already done the other side, and you can see the contrast between the etch and the black satin. Just spin it around. Look at that. Obviously, that'll dry, and that will look very different when it's dry, and we'll show you that in a minute. starting to dry already <laughs> and it's awkward to know what is the dry bit and what is the bit I haven't done and I think I've covered it all yeah I think so. okay cool
This is why I bought four cans. Let's speed this up, what does it look like? <laughs> when, when I watch that, I'm gonna chuckle. <laughs> Uh, now you may notice that the sump is masked up, that's because we are not painting the sump. So with the second coat going on, we're going to put these away and then we will um, Put the engine away as well. So here endeth today's lesson stroke episode. And, <laughs> sorry, uh, what have we done today? Well, we've painted, uh, we've degreased, rubbed down, etched up, and painted the engine, the forks, the brake drum, the uh, bracket for the brake caliper, and wheels. the wheels, indeed. The wheels, yes. Um, we now have to let that dry, and the next time we're on this bike, it's putting it together time. So, it's rebuild. I'm looking forward to that. Can't wait mm. to see all that stuff, all that hard work come together. Now, in the next episode, we will be looking at a bike review. So, stay tuned for that one. We've got more coming on Project Mac, the Mustang as well, and we've got something coming up on your bike. We do. we do and we've also got our giveaway ending so if you still want to enter that please get in there and enter so that's it from us thank you very much for joining us if you have any comments or questions or anything like that please leave them in the comment section below and until next time please subscribe and do click the bell it doesn't work but click it anyway you messed up my flow no I didn't carry on please ride and drive carefully I have fun, whatever. That bell doesn't work. I'm sorry.